How long is this soap opera going to go on for, Tim? Ginger Toff picks his wife over his nan. Oh, and in other news, the planet is on fire. But back to our main story. I've been stood here for a fucking week, Tim. They're not even in there, you know? Freezing my jaffas off out here. This is like that time Kate and William had their first kid. You remember that? Six days you had me stood outside that hospital, waiting for that royal shithead to be born. Six days stood with the rest of the world's press, filling airtime by estimating how many fingers the royal vagina had dilated. Six days, not, not fingers. I'm, I'm just not convinced this is quite as newsworthy as we all seem to think it is. Massively wealthy couple are to attempt the amazing feat of seeing if it's possible to be financially independent with only several million pounds in the bank. Fuck me. She was worth four million bucks before she even started shagging a fucking prince. His dad has been paying him millions for years. He can't have spent it all on Nazi uniforms, surely. Four million quid? There you go, you're done. You'll be fine. You could give half of it away and still be financially independent. So, you know, if you want to fuck off, if that's what you want, then fuck off. Good for you, but either fuck off or don't. But before you fuck off, can we have our money back, please? Come on, hand it over. D don't get the taxpayer to pay millions to do up your fucking house and pay your fucking, for your fucking wedding cake and then decide to fuck off. What, what? He didn't ask to be born into the royal family. That is no argument at all, Tim. All right, do you know how many people on this planet are born into abject poverty each day? They didn't choose that either. And they don't have the option of, well, what, we, we don't have any money? Well, well, let's just move to Canada and start afresh. Most poor people don't have Michelle Obama on speed dial to offer support and advice. Most poor people have to get the fuck on with it. We're spending over £300 million a year on that fucking family. That constitutes worse value for money than spending £58 to smell Gwyneth Paltrow's vagina. And yet, we hand over our hard-earned tax dollars to these people, and then we go out and line the streets and watch them spend it, and instead of rioting, we just stand there and wave flags at them, fawning over multi-millionaires whose only achievement was being born into the right family, the right family that is full of fucking wrong -uns and paedophiles and Nazi apologists. Pampered arseholes. Literally, they have a footman to wipe their arse for them at the taxpayer's expense. No, Tim. Well, I don't know. Maybe they do. I don't know. W wouldn't exactly be a massive shock, would it? <sighs> well, it's been an extraordinary week for the royal family. Harry and Meghan's statement last week came not only as a shock to the world, but to the palace as well. The palace was...